Turn with me in the book of Job chapter 23. Kitabu cha Ayupo 23. My interest is on verse 10. Nataka kuangalia mstari wa 10. But for right now. Lakini kwa sasa. Allow me take you through a long reading. Kubali niwapeleke mbio ya kitambo. Because there are some certain things here God wants to use to minister to us. Kuna mambo hapa baadhi ya mambo Mungu anataka kuhudumu na sisi. Then Job answered and said ndipo ayupo akajibu na akasema today leo hii also my complaint is bitter hata kumbunukumbunuko yangu iko na uchungu my heart is very heavy it should yani be my mo- heart moyo wangu ni mzito on account of my groaning na hali ya kulia kwangu verse 3 says how i wish i knew where i can find god Biblia inasema katika mstari wa 3 kwamba laiti ningelitua mahali ningempata Mungu ili nikaingie katika mahali pake hapa kuketi na nikaweke kesi yangu kwake ili nikajase kinywa changu na malumbano ili nikaweke malumbano ya kesi yangu kwake have you ever found yourself in a situation when you can argue your case before god umeipata katika hali ambapo unataka kulumbana na mungu when you can tell god i think i'm right wakati unaambia mungu mimi naona niko sawa the way i have taken umechukua njia mbao yako i think i'm right god to na, want it this way natua niko sawa kuhitaji ende hivi let us reason together simia sasa sasa inataka tusikizane god is not a dictator mungu sio waku when he says come let us reason together wakati anakuja na tusemezane he is simply saying yes i have allowed you to come and argue your case before me anasema ndio nimekubali uje tukalumbane kesi yako kwako he says anasema mstari wa 5 I would know what he would answer me. Ninajua kila atanijibu. And understand what he will say to me. Na nitaelewa kila atasema kwangu. Rather than being told by men. Bara la kuambiwa na watu. I would rather hear it by myself. Wacha nikasikie mimi mwenyewe. Sometimes we find ourselves in a situation. Wakati mwingine tunajipata katika hali. When we desire that God only but speaks. Wakati tunatamani Mungu pekee kanene. Mama Pauline comes in the name of God. Mama Pauline anakuja kwa jina la Mungu. And brother Felix again joins them up. Na brother Felix naye anaongana na wao. To encourage me and tell me pastor we can make it. Kunitia moyo kuwa na kuniambia mchungaji tuweza fanya. Yet after they have given me hope and left baada ya kunipatia tumaini wa kaondoka ninaamka asubuhi katika uhalisia wa mambo natamani i can only believe the report of felix ninaamini report ya felix if god himself could have spoken to him. ikiwa mungu peke yake angenena but jesus says lakini yesu anasema blessed are you na barikiwani yule who believe ambaye anaamini even without being convinced hata pasipo kushawishika i don't need to convince somebody au itakushawishe mtu i feel in my spirit it is working na hizi ndani ya moyo inafanya would he content with me in the greatness of his power atapishana mimi katika hali yake ya nguvu ya juu no la he will pay attention to me atamakinika kwangu he can pay his attention to us anaweza makinika kwetu it doesn't matter what it is aitelishi vile livyo the bible says the bible inasema he has written our names on the palm of his hand ameandika majina yetu katika kipacha mkono wake that he may remember us ili akatukumbuke He is a god who remembers. Ni Mungu anayekumbuka. So as we approach his throne, tunapoelekea katika kit- transforming grace says transforming grace in sema hivi. In Hebrews 4 verse 16, let us approach Approach the throne of God. Wacha tuelekee katika kiti cha ukenzi. With confidence. Na ujasiri. Knowing that he shall not condemn us. Tukijua kwamba atawataweza kutokemea. But he shall receive us. Lakini atatupokea. There. Hapo an upright man could argue with him. Mwenye amesimama wema anaweza lumbana na yeye. And I would be acquitted forever by my judge na ninaweza samhewa na akimu wangu only but a righteous man e, mtu ambaye ni mwaki holds the authority akona mamlaka to reason together with god ya kusemesana na mungu to talk 
to God. Na kuneno na Mungu. To argue with God. Kulumbana na Mungu. You can be sure. Unaweza kuwa na uhakika. Of Jacob contenting with. Yakobo akiweza kuwasiliana na kusikiliza na malaika. Because God has use himself to his level kwa sababu Mungu amejishusha kiwango so chake we can reason together ili kwa kaweze kusemezana pamoja he gives him an opportunity to win anampatia ufursa ya kushinda winning attracts him a new name na kashinda akipewa jina mpya kwanza kutoka leo no longer be jack au taitwa yakobo tena israel lakini utaitwa israeli meaning the one who overcame inamaanisha yule ambaye anashinda god has reduced kwa sababu Mungu amejishusha kwa kiwango cha kusemezana leo hii kwa sababu ulikuja katika ibada hii tunaanza kusemezana na Mungu tasama ataikiwa vile livyo ninasonga mbele lakini hayuko pale na nyuma pia hayupo kwenda kushoto hayupo kwenda kulia ayupo pia but he knows the way i take lakini anajua njia ninayochukua that is my verse now hiyo ndio andiko langu sasa the lord knows the way i take bana anajua njia ninayoendea i've checked him on up nimemwangalia juu i have missed him sijampata down there alpachini sijamuona upande kutoka mbele yangu hata nyuma sijamuona lakini mstari wa 10 inasema he knows the way i take anajua njia ninayochukua after he shall have tried me wakati atakuwa amenijaribu i shall come out nitatoka someone has not heard me mtu atapata hilo take those words serious chukua maneno hayo kwa ki he knows the way i take anajua njia ninayochukua he can control me the way he wants anaweza nidhibiti njia anataka in this moment of trial katika hali hii ya majaribu after he shall be through with me baada ya kumalizana na mimi i shall come out nitatoka nje refined Ni, as gold nikiwa nimetakazwa kama dhahabu my foot miguu yangu has held fast to his steps imekwamilia tu asake meaning i am no longer the one walking ina maana kwa sio mimi but him walking lakini yeye ndiye anatembea i have kept his way nimeweka njia yake i have not turned aside na si just songa upande we bless you father in the name of Jesus tunalibariki baba katika jina la Yesu for the reading of the word of god kwa kusoma maneno la Mungu i pray for the relevance ninaomba kwa ufunuo and the spirit of soundness of mind na roho ambao ni wa wema wa wakili lord as you use me as a pipe unaponitumia kama pipe through which you want to enrich you ambao unataka kutajiriza watoto wako forgive somebody samia mtu encourage somebody weka mtia mtu moyo develop somebody ponya mtu and be there for somebody na uwe pale kwa sababu ya mtu reveal yourself to somebody jidhirisha kwa mtu call for the glory and honor of your kwa utukufu wa jina lako katika jina la Yesu give jesus a better hand clap mtu apigie bwana yesu makovi mazuri as you take your seats in the na pocket kwa kiviti vyenu ndani ya uwepo wa mungu hallelujah hallelujah i feel i have been ministered to najihisi kwamba nimehudumiwa but right now let me talk to you about something let let's sikini sasa hivi acha niongee na yeye kuhusu kitu the servants of god who have been on this altar have been mentioning it mtu wa mungu alimbali kwa mahali hapa amekuwa kinena and that is how the spirit of the lord works even ndivyo roho wa mungu anasungumza he confirms anahakikisha felix mentioned uh, felix alinena that yunisa as she has been leading the service akiwa naongoza ibada she has mentioned ameitaja tena they did know awakujua they were backing up the holy spirit walikuwa wanasimama na roho mtakatifu on what the lord had commanded me to speak kwa kile mungu aliamrisha nikanene that's how the spirit of the lord works even ndio roho wa mungu anatenda and when he confirms na anapohakikisha na anathibitisha it is a productive seed ina maanisha ni mbegu ya kuzaa ina amenities hallelujah i'll be more of a teacher right now mimi ni mwalimu sana sio mhubiri but in few minutes lakini kwa dakika chache i'm sure i will bless your life nitakuwa nimebariki maisha yako touch you nitaguguza hallelujah hallelujah the process of god nataka kuongea njia ya mungu the process is a series of steps tunaongeza kwa hatua mingi that one has to take in order to reach that end ambayo mtu afai chukue ndio afike upeo ule mwingine you don't wake up one morning and you find yourself there au mkiasi 
tumefika pale anasema kwa neno lake anatujua we kabla tujazaliwa alituchagua kwa kusudi kabla hajakumba aliumba kusudi now the reason why you came into being sababu ama ilifanya ukakumbwa sasa is because there was a task for you to accomplish kwa sababu kulikuwa na kazi mbele yako ulikuifanya there is a purpose kwa hivyo kuna kusudi the purpose is the blessing kusudi ni baraka if there is anything god will do in your life kama kuna kitu mungu atatenda kwa maisha yako he will do for you in line with what is created you for atifanya kwa ile mpangilio ya kila ambacho alikumba because he provides for the purpose kwa sababu yeye utimisha kwa kusudi are you at work wewe unaendelea kutenda terms and conditions of service yale maagizo yanayohitajika kwa kufanya come with a token if you fulfill them inakuja kwa wale ambao watakao timiza hata kwa Mungu pia there is a purpose kuna kusudi hallelujah hallelujah have you ever asked yourself umejiuliza why you are not in clubs bona huko kwa club unakunywa why you are not with women outside bona uko na wanawake mahali pale are you not a man wewe si mwanamume you are a man as other men wewe ni mwanamume kama wengine but the reason why there is a distinction lakini sababu ambayo inaleta utofauti is because of the alignment ni kwa sababu ya kuweka of and for the purpose na kwa sababu ya kusudi some of you come all the way from udhiru wengine wanatoka pale udhiru and you think it is just attending the service unafikiria kwamba ni kuja tu kwa attend service it's not normal to use that bus fare sio kawaida god has to cultivate something in you mungu lazima kusinge kitu much ipambukate kufanana kila mbacho uliumbiwa kwacho na wakati unaingia ndani you work it out unaitenda unaitendea kazi inakupatia baraka so today let me tell you that kwa hivyo leo leta nikwambie if you will be blessed iwe utabarikiwa yes it is good for your pastor to say i believe ni vizuri mpa mtu kachwa kusema nakubariki you will be blessed lakini kiwa utabarikiwa is because you are walking ni kwa sababu unatembea katika kusudi the blessing is prepared baraka timeandaliwa the blessing does not have to be worked baraka itaendelea kutendwa it is you to be worked upon ni wewe utend utendewe god as a father Mungu kama baba he says anasema i don't give inheritance to an heir who is stupid siwezi patiana urithi wangu kwa mtoto ambaye mpumbavu and if i have to na kama nitampa i would rather leave it to someone else lazima ni baba asiniachie mtu mwingine to hold it akaishikilie for the right heir wa mrithi wa hakika till he matures kukoma because if you are given earlier kwa sababu ukipewa mapema you will mess it up wewe utaiharibu you cannot sustain it hauwezi edhibisha i heard some people say in kayole watu wakisema kayole in a certain hotel katika hotel moja we love this man tunapenda mount huyo in this government hii sherika we are happy for this man sisi tunafuraha kwa sababu ya mtu huyo that he can take this thing from kenyata's house anaweza chukua hiki kitu kutoka kwa nyuma ya kenyata but we are not confident lakini hatuna ujasiri that he can sustain it anaweza kuistibiti because we fear him kwa sababu tunamogopa they said number one he is rude wanasema na kicha kwanza ye ni yeye ana roho ya ubaba i'm not talking about anybody you know sijaongea juu ya mtu yote hapa i'm not talking about sijaongea juu ya mtu yote hapa i'm just preaching mimi naubiri yes i was in a hotel ndio nilikuwa kwa hoteli taking tea nikakunywa chai and they began saying wakaanza kusema and so they say na wakasema however hata hivyo he can make a very good opposition leader and as the panya kiongozi mzuri wa opposition So the same happens with our God. Inatendeka vile vile na Mungu wetu. God wants to trust us. Kuna vitu Mungu anataka kutuamini hapo. These things are gifts. Vitu vingine ni vipawa. Some of them are powerful talents. Zingine ni talanta nzuri. Some of you God wants you to start walking in a higher levels of anointing. Mwingine anataka Mungu anataka mtembee katika kiwango cha juu cha upako. He doesn't trust you right Lakini now. Lakini ya kuamini sahi. He doesn't trust your character. Aamini ulika yako. Till after I shall walk to mbaka atende kazi ndani yako are we ready to be worked up tuko tayari tu mungu atende kazi kwetu 
Wachani tena. To the process of God. Ya katika mtindo wa Mungu. God has a character. Mungu hako na tabia. Of exposing us to some certain moments. Ya kutuweka katika hali fulani. When you give your life to Jesus. Uh, wakati uliokoka. Your pastor told you. Mchungaji wakaka kwambia. Mwikulu mabere konye ni. Mguni ni maziwa peke yake. He told you but that in heaven. Haka kwambia kwamba mbinguni. There are mili kanani. Una basali na maziwa. He told you this journey is easy. Haka kwambia safari ni nzuri. After now you are born again. Ulipo koka sasa. Allow me speak in your life. Ni nene kwa maisha yako. It is not as easy as you thought. Si rahisi vile ulikuwa unafikiria. Ah. Jesus is telling me to tell you. Yesu ananiambia nikwambie. Are you willing to follow me? Uko tayari kunivuata. Take your own cross. Pepa msalaba wako. And follow me. Na ukanifuate. That is to say. Hiyo ni kusema. At some certain point. Wakati mwingine. There is a cost for you to pay. Kuna gharama ya kulipa. I'm sorry that we have Christians in our church. Na naomba kwa muna wa watu Kristo Who are not willing to pay the price. They want to go for the price. But they are not ready to pay the price. That is not how God works. That is not how he works. God grows in levels. Hallelujah. You cannot break the today's yoke using the yesterday's anointing. Don't depend on the yesterday's revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to think that you can challenge the today's challenge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fact that you healed someone of cancer yesterday in your It is not a guarantee that you will heal today. You also have to pay the cost of seeking God, finding God, getting service by God before you serve God. Now getting service it is what we call the process of God. God can only use a tool he has service. Mungu atatumia chombo ambacho amekihudumia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this brethren. Angalia hili wapendwa. Psalms chapter 37 verse 23. Saburi 37:23. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. It is God. Ni Mungu who opens the steps of the feet of a righteous. Anayeongoza hatua ya watu watoto wake watakatifu. Once you are a believer. Wakati umekuwa mumini. It becomes the responsibility of God. Inakuwa wajibu wa Mungu. Order the steps of your feet. The process of God. Atua za Mungu. Sometimes he orders your feet. Wakati mwingine anaongoza hatua yako. To the valley of the shadow of death. ya kivuli cha Mungu anisikize sasa. Sometimes God. Wakati mwingine Mungu has a character. Ako na tabia. Of ordering your steps. Ya kuongoza hatua yako. To the valley of In the dry bones. Makanda ya bonde la mifupa mikafu it is not comfortable being there hataki ukwa aja utoshereka uwe pale have you ever wondered the reason why god says even when you go through the valley of the shadow of death i'll be with you umeijua ni kwa nini alisema hata kama utaenda katika bonde la mifupa mikafu mimi nitakuwa pamoja nawe because he knows kwa sababu anajua it is 100% true ni asilimia 100% ukweli he shall lead you into the valley atakuongoza kwenda kwa ponde have you ever wondered why god says umeishangani kwa nini mungu alisema and when the enemy shall come like a flood wakati adui atakuja kama garika nitainua kiwango that is to say he knows hiyo ni kusema anajua as he orders your feet bila anaendelea kuongoza hatua yako the enemy shall come adui atakuja so the fact that you are born again does not mean that the enemy shall not roar into you umeokoka haimaanishi kwamba shetani hata nguruma kwa maisha yako the steps atua of the feet of a righteous man ya miguu ya mtakatifu they are ordered by god si Sometimes they order you into areas when you can sing a painful song. Wakati mwingine inakuongoza kwenda mahali ambapo unaweza imba wimbo wa uchungu mno. He orders Rachel into unfruitfulness. Anaongoza Rachel kwenda mahali ambapo ni pautaza. Pastors waste a lot of time and they are like come on. What you spirit of uh, unfruitfulness release this womb in Jesus. Wachungaji wanateseka sana wakielekea kukemea kwamba hii roho ya utasa muondoke. But God says. Lakini Mungu anasema I have done it 
by myself. He can do it. And I will tell you the reason why. He does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He orders the steps of the feet of Daniel. Into the den of a lion. If today I can be thrown into the den of the lion. I don't think if this church will still be there. Our pastor is normal. And we cannot sit under Borai. Ah, our pastor is normal. Mama Pauline don't even encourage us. The way we pastor, he orders the steps. Look at where my step is. I'm not comfortable being here. It is burning. But again, tena, while I am like, come on, I'm not comfortable. I think of retrieving. Nataka ni he orders this other one. Anongoza ingine into the next pit again. Katika shimo ingine tena. While you think that tomorrow if you change and nafikiria kwamba kesho mambo itabadilika. He says I'm not yet through with. Anasema bado sijamaliza. I must work on you. Lazima nitende ni yako. Haya come on teachers of the word in the house. Walimu waneno katika nyumba. You cannot teach people you don't relate with. Hawezi funza watu ambao hujahusiana na the reason why there are people, some people in, not, not in this church is because they don't relate with me. Had they related with me and connected with my heart they will be seated here because we relate. Sometimes going or working together with the people who have not been worked upon or who are not ready to be worked upon it becomes a challenge when you sweep the church they see you wasting time ah, Hallelujah. Jesus tries to refuse and it's like come on daddy if it will please you you better turn away this cup from me but God refuses to answer that and even if Jesus would want to come out he cannot make it because it is not himself it is God exposing him there is a blessing ahead of him the blessing is after this cross it shall be given a name that is above every name. Every one who calls on the name shall be saved. Right now, nobody can be saved by the name of Jesus. Without getting a revelation, you are Jesus. Yes, wako. He's insignificant. He doesn't have eternal life until he accepts to face the cross. You are Jesus. Yes, you are. He is insignificant. Ana umuimo wote. He is irrelevant. Na ana wawezi fanya lolote. He is useless. Yeye ni ubure. He is worthless. Yeye ana udhamana. Until he accepts. Mbaka kubali. To face the cross. Kukumbana na msalaba. After he has faced the cross. Bare kukumbana na msalaba. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. A name is awaiting for him. Itina lina mungoja. It is above every name. Ya mbaka. It's now a powerful name that what he is right now. And anyone who calls that name shall be saved. Blessing number two. If Jesus accepts to face the cross, he shall be seated at the right hand of the Father to rule and judge the earth. To be one with the Father. To forgive. Exactly as the Father forgives. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen. Today I introduce to you my Jesus. Because he faced the cross. I'm confident of him as the Lord. Let me tell you the truth. The Illuminati guys, they are not proud of their Satan. 
Illuminati hawajifunii utetani wao. Because they are sure. Kwa sababu hakika our master did not pay uh, price. Mkupa wetu akulipa galama. They keep hiding. Amen. Come on Illuminati, I know you are watching me. Let me speak to the Illuminati. Yes. And anybody worshiping Satan. Yeyote ana maburi ya shetani. And the wagangas. Na waganga pia. If you are sure of your God. Ikiwa una uhakika na Mungu. Proud of him. We jibu na yeye. We are proud of our Jesus. Vile tunajifunia Yesu wetu. We are proud of our Jesus. Tunajifunia Yesu wetu. Because he paid the price. Kwa sababu alilipa gharama. And he earned the price. Na alikapata zawadi. We were not proud of him. Hatukwa na kutazida. So he faced the cross. Kabla ya kumbana na msalaba. Lakini baada ya kumbana na msalaba. We are confident. Sisi tuna ujasiri. To talk of him. Kumunena. Illuminati guys I encourage you to be proud of your children. Illuminati ninawatia moyo furahieni mshetani wenu. Mimi natembeaka nikijivunia Yesu nikiambia watu hey. wanaokoka. Sijawahi kukutana na mganga wa kwetu ama mjau yeyote mwenye ako na confidence ya kusimama hapa nje aambie watu mimi ni mganga na mimi ni mjawi. How can you fail to be proud of your God? Because they know Satan did not pay the Anajua shetani akulipa karama. Imagine Satan being on the cross how will he appear? I remember there is a time Najua kuna wakati our lecturer came to class Mwalimu wetu akakaja kwa class with the psychology psychology paper na karatasi ambayo ya psychology and he told us na akatuambia prepare tomorrow you have an, an, an exam on psychology and when he came the following day wakati alikuja siku iliyofuatia he gave each one of us a photocopy of paper akatupatia karatasi moja moja with only one question on it. Kwa swali nikiwa na swali moja tu. One question carrying 100 marks. Swali moja limebeba alama 100. And the question was. Na swali ilikuwa draw Satan. Chora shetani. That is when I noticed each one of us has his or her own Satan. Ndio nilikuta kuundua kila mmoja wetu ako na shetani wake. No one drew a Satan who looks like my Satan. Hakuna mwenye alichora shetani anafanafa shetani. Ani mtu ana imagine kitu kibaya tu, kibaya. Mm. Yeye anachora mimi nilichora skeleton aina mwili. Mwingine naye akachora kitu iko na pembe hivi. Kuna mtu naye alichora tu nyani lakini hii part ya nyani peke yake kinyambisi. Inakaa hivi asema huyo ni shetani. Then our lecturer wakati ale mark paper zetu mm. each one of us got zero. Mm akasema what you have given me it is just your mind mm. hallelujah ah. otherwise had you seen him mungemuona you will give me the clear picture ungenipatia picha alisi science is different from the gospel science ni tofauti na injiri so he told us akatuambia there is no satan hakuna shetani but even after i had been, I had been taught like that in psychology baada ya kufundishwa hiyo katika shule ya psychology tell you that satan is real nakuja kuambia kwamba shetani ni but i want kweli. to encourage the devil worshipers lakini nataka kuwatia moyo wale wa kushina wawe wachifunie hata nyinyi wenye mnasengenya hapa watu i want you to be proud usimame useme mimi ni msengenyaji and i'm proud of it eh. i have put a car out of <laughs> Why are you not proud of hiyo dhambi unafanya? Mm. God has a character of taking us through moments. Mungu akona tabia kutupeleka katika hali, but he says. Lakini anasema, though he may take us through that. Hata kama atatupeleka katika kupitia hiyo. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 the Bible says. Warumi 8:28 inasema, so it might be painful for you. Hata kama itakuwa chungu kwako. Consider. Hesabu kwa All things work together for good. Yote utendeka kwa wema. To those who love the Lord. Kwa wale wanaompenda Bwana. And are called according to his purpose. Na wanaitwa kulingana na kusudi lake. Number two. And yep. are called according to the purpose. Na kulingana na kusudi. The purpose. Kusudi is what yields the fruits. Ndio inasaa matunda. Are you working on something? Unafanya kitu. That which you are working on is what is attracting Ito the enemies. Ito unafanya ndio kinafutia dui. If they are not throwing stones on you, it's because you have nothing to offer. Ikiwa warushi mawe kwako ni kwa sababu hauna lolote la kuweza kupenda. Want to stay encouraged. Nataka usimame ukiwa bichi wa moyo. Your attention. Usitope. Stay focused. Uweka mtazamo wako. On the furnace. Salia mahali pamoto. At the appointed time it shall go.
wakati mtimilifu itakuwa imepoa the lord shall bring you out na mungu atakondoa job says ayubu anasema after he shall have tried me baada kunijaribu i know i shall come out najua nitatoka meaning inabanisha they are not even these people who are working on you si hao watu ambao wanatenda kwako god who is working on ni mungu mwenyewe anatenda kwako teach you forgiveness awezi kuponya kukufundisha kukurudisha these people who mess you up ambao watakao kukukosea let me finish on this wacha nimalize hili the purpose for the process of god kusudi ya hatua ya mungu some of you could be wondering wengine wangana kwa nashangaa why do i go through Mbona napitia haya? Haleluya. Haleluya. While I was a drunkard I was not going to do. Nilipokuwa mlevi sikupita. Nobody hated me. Hakuna mwenye alikuwa amenichukia. We used to share the cigarette. Tulikuwa tunashiriki sigara. We could share that glass of beer. Hiyo glass tulikuwa tunashiriki pia. We could we, we were every now and then in the fellowship. Tulikuwa katika ushirika kila mara. My pastor told me that when I get born again everything will be alright. Mchukaji wake anambia ndikiokoka yote itakuwa sawa. What is that is happening with me? Dini inatendeka na mimi. The Bible says lean not on your understanding. Biblia inasema kwamba usitegemee kuelewa kwako. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. Katika mbili bedhari 3:5 paka sita usiweze kutegemea kuelewa kwako but in all your ways lakini kwa njia zako zote acknowledge god tambua mungu it is he that makes your path straight kwa sababu yeye ndiye ufanya njia zako zikanyooke he can make it straight and as i fanya ikanyooke but kindly allow him to work lakini mkubalie akatene ndani yako so that he can trust you ili kwamba akakuamini now he says here na anasema hivi the reason why i, I would allow you to go through this sababu ambayo itanifanya ni kuwa uruhusu upitie hayo hallelujah 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 is so that i can teach you perseverance ili nikakufunze kufumilia you can never know how to persevere hautajua jinsi ya kufumilia and neither can you persevere hata uwezi fumilia not unless you have been exposed to the moments of that kind mpaka uwe umepitia hali ambayo inakufunza kufumilia certain point you need some pain hata kwa wakati mmoja unahitaji kuwa ndani ya uchungo there are those people who run out of their marriages oh, kuna wengine wanatoroka katika ndani ndoa yao just because the husband didn't talk to her kwa sababu mume wake hakumuongelesha there are people who run out of relationships kuna wengine wanatoroka katika ndani ya mahusiano just because this man has not taken you out for a date kwa sababu mwanamkaja kupeleka mwanamume atakupeleka nje nisikize sasa he may not have taken you for a date hata kwa kupeleka katika but is your husband lakini ni mume wako he may not have bought you clothes for 2 years uenda aja kunulia nguo kwa miaka 2 will not qualify you to run away aijaitimisha wewe utoroke what will you tell someone who will be in that situation tomorrow utaambia nini mtu atakao katika hali hiyo jana can you teach perseverance utamfunzaje kuvumilia if you never had an opportunity kama uko pata fursa please if there is a problem between me and my wife kama kuna shida kati yangu na mke wangu don't come to tell Don't come to tell my wife persevere. Usikuje kumwambia fumilia. You must first of all teach her how to persevere. Mufundishe kwanza jinsi ya kuvumilia. Because sometimes we are forced to persevere Wak- what we cannot carry. Kwa wakati mwingine tunaweza kulazimika kuenda kuvumilia kitu ambacho hatuwezi beba. Usipewe mimba ya ndovu ubebe na uvumilie nayo kwa sababu Biblia inasema ati mimba ya ndovu sio yako. Ukipewa mimba ya mwanadamu vumilia. At the appointed time utaza ya ndovu itakuua so the fact that we are born again is not a guarantee that tumeitwa kuvumilia kila kitu ni cha kwamba tumeokoka hutaitwa kuvumilia kila kitu i think some people are in discussions when they are being taught najua kuna watu ambao katika hali na inawafunza some of us are going through a class is it wengine tunapitia darasa james 1 1 to 2 Yakobo 1 1 mpaka 2 perseverance kufumilia you need to persevere unahitaji kufumilia if you had never learned to persevere kama hujajifunza kuvumilia anything that comes to your ears from a certain brother in church kila kitu ambacho kinatungia katika masikio yako you are forced to believe it unalazimika kuamini you take it unaichukua you run with it unakimbia nayo not knowing the fruits It is yet to yield. Bila kujua matunda imebeba. God will take you through some certain moments. Mungu atakuchukua katika hatua zingine so that according to Isaiah 55 kulingana na Isaya 55 verses 8 to 9 mstari wa 8 hadi 9 God takes you through some certain painful moments. Mungu anakuchukua katika hali nyingine mzungu so that he can 
teach you how to rely on him. Ili kwamba akakufunze chizi ya kumtegemea. Can we rely on God? Naweza mtegemea Mungu? While we were with this church in the house. Wakati tulikuwa kanisa na kanisa hii kwa nyumba. And with some people with a lot of opinions. Watu na baadhi yao mengi. Some of who had a feeling that this pastor is too small to be our pastor. Wengine ambao walikuwa na maoni yao kwamba ni mdogo wetu. So he should appoint one of us elders uh, to be the pastor and then he serves under him. Ba tagwe mwingi mmoja wetu ambaye amekoma alafu yeye. Some had a feeling that no after the house we should go to a school. Wengine wakatuwasa kwamba tukitoka kwa nyumba tuende kwa shule. Programs from the school. Tuweze kufanya mpangilio wetu ya kanisa kule kwa shule. And some had an opinion that we stay in that house for 2 years first of all. Wengine wakaleta maoni kwamba tubakia pale kwa miaka 2. Because some pastors they take the churches in the houses for 5 years. Kwa sababu wachungaji wanachukuanga miaka 5 kwa nyumba. Some of God here Mwalimu Boraya told me pastor ndikawa akamwambia mchungaji if we wait until we have everything tukingoja paka tupate vyote we will not glorify god atutatukuza mungu but if we can go out zero tukienda nje tukiwa sufuri god shall be glorified mungu atatukuka and he said man of god can we rely on god nikamwambia tutatengemea mungu i don't really think he knew what he was doing to me uh, wenda akuwa anajua chenye alikuwa anafanya he was encouraging me alikuwa analitia moyo and you know when you are a junior na wakati wewe ni mdogo and you are talking some things to your senior na unaongea vitu zingine kwa mkubwa wako you never know when you are encouraging him ujui wakati gani unamtia moyo and when we took the step of faith to come wakati tulichukua tua ya imani kutoka nje to come out for the crusade kutoka kuja hapa kwa kongamano of everybody who was in the house kila mtu alikuwa kwa nyumba only ipona and mama gracious were available na hivyo ni mama gracious ndio walibaki everybody else wao wengine wote because they had a certain pastor in the midst kwa sababu walikuwa na mchungaji miongoni who has dispersed them even up to today ambaye amewatawanya mpaka leo hii and but faith worked when we came out Imani katenda wakati tulitoka. When, when we came out we have met Mama Pauline. Wakati tulitoka tukakutana na Pauline. When we came out we have met Mama Priscilla. Tukapata Mama Priscilla tulipotoka. We met Patricia was not here. Tukapata Patricia yuko. We met Mama Eunice. Tumepata Mama Eunice. She never knew where we were. Akuwa na kujua mahali tulikuwa. And when she came in, wakati alikuja, she took this ministry as her own. Akaichukua kama yake. In fact when you come here when I'm not here. Ukija kama wakati kama. And you kama. find her to this altar. Ukimpata kwa madhabahu haya. You might think she's the pastor of this church. Utaweza jua yeye ni mtu gani kwa sasa kwa sababu yeye anawajibika code effectively anawajibika vizuri haleluya haleluya and they began coming wakaanza kuja and coming wakaanza kuja and they thought i would worship them wakafikiria nitamwabudu i come and clean the church when they are there nitakuja na osha kanisa wakiwa because of course they had reduced me on their mind kwa sababu walikuwa wameniweka chini katika mawazo yao that i am small wamedishwa kwa mimi ni mdogo that, that never took my attention haikutoa mtazamo wangu because i had been prepared kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeandaliwa it is good to have strong shock absorbers on your heart ni kuvizuri kuwa na shock absorbers stability katika maisha yako use my money buy what ningechukua pesa yangu ni nuna the house use my money natumia pesa the instruments na bring them over na leta god was training me mungu alikuwa ananiandaa uh, uh, somebody listen to me mtu anisikize god takes us through some such mungu anachukua ali singine they came and they, they, they left wakatoka na wakatukuja tena wakaondoka after they noticed maybe we are not what they wanted to be wakati waligundua kwamba tuko kile ambacho walikuwa wanataka one of them comes in ngira akakuja and he finds mwalimu boraya on the altar akanipata kwa madhabahu hao the first time he comes to church wakati wa kwanza anakuja kanisani calls him out ananiita you why is there no spirit on the altar uliachia nani madhabahu akulindie ni mwalimu boraya develops the patience akachenga hiyo kufumilia and he encouraged himself nikachitia moyo kabisa because he has been in the training kwa sababu amekuwa katika maandalizi and it continues ikaendelea they get to be remorseful wakawa ni kwamba wanaendelea kuchutia and last sunday one of them called me jumapili mungu ana kanipigia we had a very long meeting katika mkutano mkubwa saint pastor remorse mimi naona nimechutia sana pastor am remorseful mimi nachutia sana i'm sorry that my what has broke the church natua maneno yangu yalifunja kanisa i repent na tupo and pastor i'm concerned 
when we leave this place to the other place I commit myself to the work of God and it's like pastor I'm giving you this 500 so that you pay for the speaker next Sunday yesterday he calls me and tells me pastor I've just received that call right now to go to work and I'm like it is well kindly go to work so that you give me your 10% and I blessed him to go and work right now I've just received a message my wife has read it pastor your members are here have they asked for permission it is here the message is here and now because God has worked on my heart I care less now not that I am careless it is just that I have a space in my heart to host such things without crying if it happens like that if you are not careless your heart had never been worked upon by God. You will take this microphone and you leave the gates of the ministry. Ladies and gentlemen, he says all these things worked together. I'm about finishing now. God takes you through that. Hallelujah. Yes. so that he can make you humble sometimes some of us are proud hallelujah. hallelujah now after God has reduced me to this level I begin to realize oh the church is not mine the church is the Lord's. My responsibility is to teach. I am a steward. But the church is the Lord's. And the Lord now begins to build his church. Galatians chapter 6 verse 5. Sometimes we suffer because of our own actions. And somebody else in Hosea 4 6. Hosea 4 6. The book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 5. Yes. The Bible says for every man shall bear his own burden. Every man shall bear his own burden. Kila mtu atabeba msalaba wake. Mziko wake. Mziko wake. Amen. Kila mtu atabeba mziko wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the Hosea 4.6 saying? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you from being priest for me. And because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you. Let me be clear on this, ladies and gentlemen. And don't consider me controversial. It is the truth that has to be told. This altar, but the bow higher, it carries the blessing. In a beba baraka, it carries our curse. Allow me repeat it again. Many people today, the kinds of the frustrations they are going through, it is because of the things they collected on the altar by themselves. Because number one, you expect my grace to work for you as your pastor when in real sense you are cheating on me if you can tell me that you are going to work and I get a report on phone from a pastor friend who is telling me pastor they are not at work two of them you are keyboardist and you are church elder they are in my church in fact they are on the altar right now greeting people I will not refuse to let you go but if you want to go to minister tell me let me bless you I'm telling you you will operate in your grace and my grace you will be more powerful if you sit under me when my heart is bitter about you for all this time since morning up to right now what have you been receiving you are taking 
take it by yourself. Unaichukua poa ya peke yako. If you come and kneel here and I pray for you. Yeah. With my hand on you. Ninaomba mkono wako ukiwa juu yako. And you go na unaenda and talk ill about me of the things I have not done. Na kunaongea mambo ambayo sijatenda. The words that I spoke to you while I was praying for you. Maneno niliyotamka nikiwa nakuombea. They become poisonous. Sina kuna padrika itakuwa sumu. Have you ever asked why and where people get ulcers from? Umejiuliza ni wa mgwapi watu wanaokota vidonda vya dumu pressure heart issues misukumo ya damu marubu ugonjwa wa maroho nothing wrong has happened but there is anxiety in you hakuna kitu ume lakini kuna unasikia kwamba una msukumo people collect some of these things what wanakusanya mambo mengine kutoka kwa madhabahu especially when the church is as young as it is wa mingi wakati kanisa iko ndogo kama hii we are counting on you for your availability wewe kupata kana for your word of mouth hiyo neno jina neno kutoka kwa Mungu you may not be like me unwenda usisome kama mimi you may not be anointed as i am uweze kuwa but at your level kwa kwa kiwango chako you can have a word unaweza kuwa na neno ambayo katika upumbavu wake tu linanitia moyo eh why don't you walk together with me especially when i want you the most yes. that's when you are away from me uh. That's how people collect some of these things on the old. Ndio wanaokota kutoka kwa madhabahu. And that's why I officially release Wickliffe and David. Ndio sababu ninawaachilia hasa Wickliffe na David. Na kupatia ujasiri wa kwenda kufesi hao watu wawili waambie Pastor Wickliffe has released you. you. Because some of these people can come to you as a problem. Watu wengi hao wanaweza kuja kama shida kwako. Ana anasema hapa kwamba kila mtu ataubeba mzigo wake. wake. Hiyo ndio mizigo tunaokota hapa wapendwa. Mm. Because if you can come to my house and I serve you with a cup of tea. Na utoke uende usengenye huyo mtu amekupatia hicho kikombe cha chai. Hiyo chai inageukanga katika anga ya kiroho inakuwa sumu katika maisha yako. Yes. That's why unaonanga what flani mtu amekuwa pesa zikitembea katika mikono all of a sudden the cup becomes dry because of poor relationship with the altar yes. lack of what knowledge teachers of the word i want you to pray to god that he gives you revelation about the altar mufundishe watu ukweli kuhusu madhabahu ili mtu atikwenge portion yake akikimbia naye ya baraka sio hizi vitu za laana laana even if i would lose anybody else apart from them today God will still give me the ability to raise up a disciplined church. Amen. Tutafuta kutu discipline. Nataka uniamini kwa kiwango ya kwamba you can introduce me to your family ni ushago ni wanene and you are proud and you say the how comes my pastor he is small but the ladies and gentlemen listen to what is coming out of his mouth I have tested and seen that the Lord in him is good. I've tested his character I've tested his mouth. I have tested his anointing. He is not just God, 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 God. No, 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 no. If we do that way, we will never grow. Wewe utoke uende kwenu. Si hata kwenu. Hapa tupo plot mahali unakaa labda na mama yako ama na dada yako mkubwa ama na ndugu yako mkubwa. Unashika matiti hivi. Unamwambia pia mimi ni mwanamke. Wewe pia mimi ni mwanamke. What do you expect of that woman? Huyu mtu umejipaka vaselini yake umevaa slippers zake umeoga maji yake excuse me hiyo maji iko kwa hiyo nyumba ni yangu ni mimi nalipanga do you know what i go through ndo nilipe hiyo maji we nimekutoa tu shago nimekuleta unakaa kwangu unanyamba huko unakula vile unataka unaenda kwa choo yangu ni mimi nalipia pesa ya kukuja kutoa hiyo takataka alafu at the end of the day una nini cheki cheki vile unanifanyia pia mimi ni mwanaume bro usinilete kwa sababu umemea ndevu mbili kama ya mbuzi at the end of the day if you will succeed then the heavens will not be faithful the bible itself teaches whoever shall bless you i shall bless you na atakai kuelekezea kidole ni sawa na kuelekeza hiyo kidole katika mboni ya jicho la mungu so unaweza sengenya mchungaji na asijue unaweza sengenya kiongozi kanisani na asijue asijue uliko wapi kuosha kanisa baada ya kuosha kila kitu hapo naanza kupita na hata ijaoshwa vizuri na umae osha hii kanisa that's why you are collecting curses tafadhali mizigo iko kwa hii madhabahu yenye watu wataokota wengi wakufe vifo vya mapema washikwe na magonjwa ya aina tiba 
washikwe na kuchanganyikiwa wapoteze ndoa na mahusiano kukuwe na ukosefu wa heri katika maisha na pia katika haya madhabahu kuna baraka ambayo mtu anahitaji kwa ajili ya the opposite to be true let us collect blessings first peter chapter 4 verse 12 to 16 beloved think it is not strange concerning the fiery trial ibe answer kwa kusema beloved in other words it is talking or addressing a mm. fellowship Mm-mm. the people within the circle of christianity mm. ah watu wa mungu mnanipata watu wa mungu mnanipata ndio think it is not strange concerning the fiery trial which mm. is to test you mm. as though some strange thing happened unto you mm. but rejoice since you are partaker of Christ's suffering yes that when glory shall be revealed yes you may be glad also mm. with exceeding joy Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, yes. happy are you. Yes. For the spirit of the of glory and of God rest upon you. Yes. And on their part he is evil spoken of, mm. but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief mm. or as an It's evil doer. Lakini katika kuteseka huko nimewaambia mambo yote yanafanyika katika wema wa Bwana is it yes in this suffering kwa bateso haya i am encouraged na kutia moyo that they be found none of us in our midst is patikana moja wetu katika miongoni mwetu who is suffering abana teseka as a result of sin kwa sababu ya dhambi but be found someone who can suffer patikana mtu atakaye teseka for the glory of god kwa utukufu wa Mungu please don't suffer usiteseke because of your mouth kwa sababu ya ubikuno wako kwa sababu ya kukosa maarifa kwa sababu ya matendo yako kwa sababu ya wana kupepa kwa makanisa kutoka moja nyingine lakini kama kuna kana mateso yote what mateso pamoja na kristo 15 says but let no one of you suffer as a madra or as a thief or as a evil doer or as a beast body in other men's matter yet if a man suffer as a christian yes let him not be ashamed mm-hmm. but let him glorify god on this behalf amen god bless you thank you so much romans yes. 5 3 to 6 otherwise for you now who are suffering right now for the sake of the ministry for the sake of christ for the sake of righteousness can i speak in your life receive it positively take it in love knowing that trials and temptations produces perseverance hallelujah it teaches you how to persevere yes right now i can advise a pastor who is starting the church nesa mtia moyo mchungaji anayeanza kanisa i can teach him nesa mfunza because i have been in it kwa sababu nimekuwa ndani i know how weight it is najua vile iko na uzika how painful it is vile iko na uchungu how people may misuse you ah um, vile watu wanaweza kutumia vibaya sometimes how you can be used wrongly wakati mwingine unaweza kutumika vibaya i will warn that pastor ninamtamwonya huyo and i tell him na nimwambie be careful when you go to someone's house to pray umakinika wakati ambapo unaenda kwa nyumba mpendo kwa mama because i have an experience kwa sababu nina hiyo mtu mtu ananiita kwa nyumba to pray with him kwa maana na yeye to cancel him kumkumwa upande wa shauri after i leave the house baada ya kutoka he calls someone anaita mwingine a girlfriend telling him that the pastor said this about you anamwambia alifanya alisema hivyo which is not true ambao si ukweli now i have been through the process nimekuwa katika kutendelewa taught me imenifunza there is something you have learned kuna kitu ambacho umechifunza now if the same can repeat itself ikiwa itajirudia kesho i can persevere naweza fumilia because the other one kwa sababu ile nyingine it did not consume me haikunimaliza it was painful ilikuwa ya uchungu it destroyed my name ili aribu jina langu but it did not consume me lakini iko nimekunimaliza and so i say na kwa kile naweza sema i don't have even time to tell people about this one sitaki sina hata muda wa kuambia watu about this like the other one vanished vile nyingine liisha this one shall also vanish bwana sifiwe amen now it, it, that suffering produces perseverance in a letter ile kufumilia and perseverance gives you the character na kufumilia kuna kupatia tabia say character sema ulka 
character olka character is not just about how you talk kuolka sio vile unavyosema it's not just about how you relate vile ambavyo unahusiana it's not about how you eat sio vile ambavyo unavyokula kuna mpendo tulipeleka urajio na tunafika huko the first day tulienda introduction tunafika huko jamani ndo anakuwa wa kwanza kuna hawa unajua wa kikuyu sio kama sisi wa luya ati tunanawishwa wewe unaweza jipanga hapo kama maji kwa sufuria ama sure leo my kikuyu guys kikuyu guys let us try to improve and bring some order in <laughs> unanao acha kwa sufuria kwa mother in law <laughs> mtu anarukia tu sufuria ananawa ndo huyo anakula mokimo he wants to eat everything and he is like excuse me excuse me amemaliza kukula mbele yetu so i called him out kabla twende kwa the next meal nikamwambia you are stupid sure for Christ's sake you are stupid ni nini umetuita hapa ukini eater to be your spokesperson number one. Eh? never make a mistake to start eating paka sisi tuanze wewe ni mgeni mwesi chifiche fiche ndani yetu number two, uswai maliza kukula mbele yetu it's lack of manners and lack of character that's why i think some of these people mnahitaji kulelewa na shosho shosho ndo wanajua kulea watoto vizuri jamaa anaongea vile anataka and by the way kwa sauti ya juu haya ni nini unaenda kufanya kwa joe ya mother in law so wende uko joe kwa njia huko ama uende kwa joe ya jirani next time kama nitakusindikiza mahali toka kwa nyumba kwanza kama umeenda kupupu na umeenda kususu umemaliza hiyo vitu vitu vya kwenda kusurura kwa mother in law ukiharibu haribu hicho hapa wananiona ati ndio hiyo ako wapi ndio ya mingia huko na uvae kongoa ya maana unavaje t-shirt tukusindikize character so character imebeba vitu mingi sio tu vile unaongea sio vile vile unakula i know of a pastor ambaye amezoeana na wapendwa wake wamezoeana wanamzaha yani mpaka hakuna boundary so hiyo mpendwa anauzanga motora eh mzikwaza na muitaga jina sitaki kuita jina <laughs> some of you here know him mzee anaita jina kula kula pia mzee anachukua motoragi akitonga kwa supu mbichi hapo kwamba mbele ya watu and you are an apostle character inaleta mpaka at least kuka, kuna kuwa na mipaka if you meet someone who is going everywhere hana hata tabia unataka kukaa kwa kikao ya watu wameshinda age yako nini unatafuta hapo character produces hope holka and where there is hope mahali kuna tumaini we are not ashamed tu wese aibika how many of you believe i've spoken the word of ngapi wanaamini nimeonana na mungu how many still love me ngapi wananipenda what if the church can be like that every day itakuwaje kanisa ikiwa hivyo kila siku na i want to charge you with this nataka kuambia hili i want to pray that you are disciplined wataniombe kwamba uwe na nidhamu and you are serious na uwe mtu ambao mekenika a lot of people will be joining us watu wengi wataungana na sisi when they come wakati wanakuja let them know wacha wajue huyo mama Yunis though you see her smile she is a no nonsense woman yeah taki mcheso kabisa you will not reduce us by calling us small kwa sababu size ya pastor ni small ah uh-uh. we need to walk in authority hiyo mzaa iko hapana stay with your rent if god will not provide we will stay in the house but serve god in the house lakini tusifumiliane tukendelea kujenga mzaa the more tunajenga mazingira ya mzaa the more Mungu atapotea kabisa katikati yetu we need a serious church Amen. how many promise me a serious church mm. and i promise you a faithful god amen i promise you a faithful grace amen that will work for you amen. we go through painful moment ladies and gentlemen sometimes if we could not help you when you had a problem it is because we didn't have it ni kwa sababu hatukua nayo the church as at then was in a difficult moment kanisa wakati huo ilikuwa katika hali mbaya working on the rent inashughulikia kodi hata hapo 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 one of us has a funeral someone else has given back mwingine tena amejifungua and there is a feeling if they don't support me na kuna msukuma kwamba kama watanisaidia i will agree with an elder in the church who told me that pastor does not support people nitakubaliana na msee wa kanisa ambaye aliniambia huyo mtungaji asaidie watu now this mamas they contribute what they didn't have a uh, mama wakatoa kila ambacho hatawakuwa nacho they didn't have money a uh, wengine hawakuwa na pesa they just took their own unga walichukua unga kwa nyumba and they said mwenzetu amejifungua though we don't know her a uh, mwenzetu ame yes 
She has never been to this church. Acha kwa kanisani. The husband is just a keyboardist. Bwanake ni keyboardist. That's why I say issues about keyboardists. Mm-hmm. Married but you don't want to introduce your wife. Now after we have brought them to you. Baada kuwaleta kwe kwa. Instead of appreciating. Baada kushukuru. You say. Unasema. Why would they give me food? Mbona wanipatia chakula? Instead of giving me money to buy my own by Wang, myself. Wangempatia pesa niniue peke yangu. Yet he had nothing. Hakuwa na kitu. Do you know what people go through to take just a piece of soap from their house? Yeah. We thank you Father in the name of Jesus. Tunakushukuru Papa katika jina la Yesu. You gave us an opportunity to be in your house. Ulikatupa fursa tuwe katika nyumba yako. Some of us came but they are sick spiritually. Wengine tulikuja lakini tuko wagonjwa kiroho. Some are sick physically. Wengine ni wagonjwa katika miili ya kawaida. Lord I pray that you remember mercy. Baada naomba kwamba utukumbuke. Consider mercy upon these brethren. Kushukuria mbuni mtendwa. Love them O God. Wapende Mungu. Forgive them. Wafsamehe. Heal them. Waponye. Restore them. Warejeshe. And anywhere na popote where the devil would use mahali shetani atatumia to destroy their testimonies kuharibu ushuhuda wao to eat their names kukula majina yao i seal that place by the blood of jesus ninafunika mahali pale kwa damu ya yesu and i pray you are protected na naomba ume umeusingizwa we do my lord i bless you na wabariki with the blessings of the lord na baraka za Bwana ambaye inafanya utajiri na ileti majuto Juma ile lote may God teach you hands may wacha Mungu afunze mikono yako chinzi ya kutengeneza faida Juma ile lote when other people's children are being consumed by things oh, wakati watoto watu watoto watu wengine wanakuliwa na mambo may your children be preserved wacha watoto wako wakaweza kuwekwa kwa utukufu wa jina and again i say shalom tena nasema shalom amen amen